a billion, if you will. Um, yes. We like that big number in TV. Half a billion, um, okay. So when can Americans expect to see these tests? Where are they coming from? How many can a family or a person order at once? Is this website going to be able to sustain all of these people who will want to get on and get these tests? Uh, to answer your last question, yes, that is our expectation, and we are preparing for that. Uh, we are we will have more information as it is available, including uh, what the website looks like. We will make the website available as soon as these tests are available. They will start to be available in January. Uh, and in terms of the numbers that different families can uh, order, that is we are working through all those very important details right now. So Dr. Fauci said today that it's going to be a matter of a couple of weeks when we start to see a decline from Omicron. Are these tests, this batch of 500 million, going to actually make a difference in the surge that we're seeing right now, or are they coming too late for this? Well, again, our objective here, uh, the President's objective, has been to build on the steps he has taken over the last couple of months. Uh, again, quadrupling, test, quadrupling testing capacity, making it more available in more communities, opening more testing sites across the country, and really directing our efforts and our resources toward the parts of the country where they need help the most. So I know part of the announcement today is obviously uh, testing sites and opening additional testing sites. Uh, we have additional testing sites up and running in New York City. We will have them up and running in New York City, for example, by the end of this week. Uh, additional testing sites will come online next week as states we are coordinating with to determine and logistics, scale, and timing uh, can be finalized. And part of our effort now is also to make assessments about where additional testing sites will be needed. So we have teams out on the ground to make that assessment with governors, state leaders, local health officials who are experiencing spikes or who anticipate experiencing spikes. And that's just the testing center component where people can go and get them in person. And again, this is building on the testing capacity we've already built to date in January. But you're still seeing, sorry, last question. Uh, you're still seeing these long lines all around the country. So at the end of 2021, as we close out this year, I still have to ask, when can every American who wants to get an at-home test get one? Because they can't get one today. Well, as I just noted, one step we're taking is really surging capacity and opening these testing sites in parts of the country where they have been hardest hit. New York City is one of them. And those testing sites will be up and running in New York City by the end of this week. And we will continue to surge capacity and open additional testing sites in other parts of the country. And that is something that can happen very rapidly, and our team is ready to uh, deploy those resources. Uh, there are still 20,000 sites across the country where people can go. There are still uh, 50 million tests that we are distributing to rural community health centers. And we're doing this as quickly as possible. 500 million tests in January is, a, is the largest order we have ever made to date, and we're going to do it as quickly as we can, but they won't be available until January. Where are they coming from, these 500 million tests? The eight approved by the FDA, uh, the eight tests approved by the FDA. Hold up and getting those? Or is it, I mean, it's going to well, be the, the, they, those, those final approvals uh, just, uh, just went through uh, in November. Um, so that has been part of our ability to expand our capacity in, in addition to using the Defense Production Act and our investment in $3 billion to do that. Is it possible to reduce the 10 day isolation period? Is that something that's under active consideration? I know that Dr. Fauci spoke to that briefly. That would be a decision made by our health and medical experts and the CDC. So I, I would certainly point you to them. We're always assessing and looking at different steps that can be taken. Go ahead, Jeff. Is the